Hey guys, it's Nunker. Today I am going to be doing my Affliction Band Fedor vs. Sylvia predictions. This will be on Saturday, July 19th at 9 p.m. Um, at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, live on pay per view. Um, so. I hope you guys enjoyed my other videos, and really thank you all for subscribing. I'm probably going to be doing a video about that, you know, about thanking my subscribers pretty soon. Um, fun time to do that. Um, so, but this is first, so I hope you enjoyed my other videos. Comment on this, please. Please comment on this. And rate it, and subscribe. So, alright, so we're going to begin. Alright, so I'm going to start from the bottom. Now, the, prelimin the preliminary cards, uh, I'm going to be giving just like who, I'm who I think I'm not going to be doing analysis for them. But it's all, they're all going to be in this video. But the main card, I'll give an analysis, the preliminary, just say, state who I think is going to win. Alright, so anyway, first fight of the night on the preliminary card is Savin, Savin Young versus Mark Hominick. So, I got Mark Hominick. TKO. I think Young is like 45. This guy's really old. So I got Mark Hominick by TKO. All right. Next fight: Mike Pyle versus JJ Ambrose. Pyle's trained by Randy Couture. I got him winning this one. Uh, TKO, unanimous decision. I guess. Uh, yeah. TKO. I guess. All right. Then Ray Lazama versus Justin Levins. Levins fought in the UFC. So, I never saw Ray Lazama fight, never even heard of him. So, I got Justin Levins by uh, submission. Could, could be TK, I don't know. Vitor Belfort versus Terry Martin. I really want to see that fight. Too bad it won't be a main card. <clears throat> I think it's going to be too much of a big step up for Terry Martin. I think he'll be overwhelmed a little bit. Although, Vitor Belfort is not as good as he used to be. But I'm still going to save Vitor Balfour by TKO. Could submit him, maybe even decision, but I got TKO. Tony Rogerio Noguera and Darryl, uh, versus Vernon White. White used to find the UFC, but I also want to see his fight. Uh, I got Noguera by submission. Yeah, Noguera by submission. All right, now the first fight on the main card. Alexander Emilienko, who is Fedor Emilienko's brother, versus Paul Buentello. Paul used to find the UFC, training out of AKA, very good training camp. I do think that he's a little bit out of his prime, Paul Buentello, as he's 34. Emilienko's only 26. <clears throat> Alexander's going to have a big reach on him. You know, he's 6'6", six six. Paul's 6'2". Six he has some weight advantage on him, 253 to 245. I just think he's an all-around better fighter. Um, I don't. Paul might be more powerful than him, but I, I see it going. Uh, Alexander Emilienko TKO possibly submission. TKO though, that'd be my guess. Alright, then you got Renato Sobral versus Mike Whitehead. I think they both used to find the UFC. Mike Whitehead might even be, might have even been on the Ultimate Fighter, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. I think Sobral is, uh, he's a mean dude. I don't really like him at all. But, anyway, Whitehead's straight out of Extreme Couture. Sobral, Sobral, uh, has a couple more fights in him. I, I don't know, I, I gotta say Sobral, TKO or submission. I can't pick. I guess TKO, Renato Sobral. Alright, next fight of the night is Matt Lindlin. Matt Lindland versus Fab Fabio Nigao. I have seen this guy fight on, I think I saw him fight on YouTube, Fabio. Matt Lindland, we all know him from Team Quest. He's getting a little bit old, he's 38. Um, he's going to have a reach advantage, height advantage, 6 feet to 5'10". He has a lot more fights in him. Probably a better training camp. He's probably just an all-around better fighter. I got Matt Lindland by unanimous decision. Possibly TKO. Unanimous decision, though. All right. 
Then, next fight, Josh Barnett versus Pedro Hizo in the rematch. Pedro Hizo knocked him out in the first fight, but that was a long time ago. I think Pedro's very washed up. He's already 34. Uh, Barnett's going to have a reach advantage and a height advantage, 6'3 to 5'9, 250 pounds to 228 pounds. I think Barnett's more active, and I think it's going to be Barnett. TKO Josh Barnett for Josh Barnett. Next fight of the night, very excited for this one. Andre Arlovsky, he just signed with uh, Affliction after leaving the UFC versus Ben Rothwell. I think he used to fight in the IFL. Ben Rothwell beat uh, beat Rico Rodriguez by split decision. And he's a top ranked heavyweight. I think he's pretty good. Um, he's an inch taller, he has more weight advantage. More fights, probably a reach advantage. Um, he's younger, but still, I think Arlovsky is just a way better fighter. I think it's going to be a big step up in competition, like Martin versus Belfort. And I don't see uh, Rothwell beating Arlovsky. I, I just can't picture it. So I got Arlovsky by unanimous decision. Again, he could submit or TK on, but i got to say unanimous decision for this one. Um, for Andre Arlovsky. I think Roswell is a tough guy, though. Main event of the evening. Fedor, the last emperor, Emilian, Emilian Enko, versus Tim, the main EX Sylvia. Um, Tim Sylvia's turning out out of Militech. He's 33. Fedor's 32. Uh, Tim Sylvia's going to have a couple inches height advantage. Probably also a bit Good reach advantage on Fedor that could come into play. Um, they both had around the same fights. He's gonna have a, a weight advantage on him. Um, think he's gonna have more to lose. Sylvia, I mean, he's coming off a loss. If he loses this, could see retirement happening. From um, Milenko's got. I think that Emilienko is a, a bad matchup for Tim Sylvia because Emilienko has a great ground game, you know. So that's where Tim Sylvia usually suffers on the ground. And I think that, I know, I just think it's a very bad matchup for Tim Sylvia. Sylvia could catch him, he definitely could. I wouldn't be surprised that happened. But I have to say that uh, Fedor is going to win this one by uh, TKO or submission. But I see TKO is going to for Fedor Emelianenko. I think he's um. I think that Fedor is just bad matchup for him. And although I do think Fedor is overrated, I'll tell you that. Um, I think he's very overrated be because uh, this is. So that was my video. Uh, comment and subscribe. Bye.